It's the Brooks uh, Professional Saddle. It comes in this nice, nice box when you get it. Let's just open the box up now and see what's inside. So there's the saddle. Get the saddle. Get a um, waterproof case. Some proofide sachet which I've already used on the saddle. Instruction book and the spanner which you get for adjusting the tension on the saddle. So this is the book <clears throat> so this is the Brooks Professional Saddle. <clears throat> I don't know if the camera can focus in on that. have a look at it now it's got the copper rivets which are supposedly hand beaten down <clears throat> the nice Brooks logo on the back you see the profile on it now it's, uh, it's like a slimmer version of the the B17 I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube on the B17 saddle but not this one so also do a quick video on it. I've already used the proof proofide on it on the on, on the underside just to try and soften up the leather a bit before I go up for a ride with the saddle. See there that's the adjust the nut for adjusting. I suppose when it starts to sag after so many years you can Tension it up on that. That's what the spanner the spanner's for in the box. These are just steel rails, I think. Didn't buy the titanium one because that's too expensive. Got this on on Amazon. Uh, Sixty-seven pound it was on Amazon. For some reason it was cheaper in this colour. If I wanted a black one, it would have cost me about hundred and ten pound. What what what? what so I thought I'm not really bothered about the colour because I'm buying it to sit on. Bought it for the comfort. So that's the waterproof case it comes with. But it's uh, small enough to roll up and fit in your pockets. If you ever have to leave your bike out in the rain, you just cover it up with that. Let's have a go at fitting it. The most briefcase fitted on the saddle. That comes with all the comes with all the saddles. Should be good. I'll have to do um, some short rides on this. I don't think I'd. With it being a new saddle, I don't think I'd uh, jump straight on and try and do a 100 mile ride. I'll do a couple of shorter rides, 25 30 miles first. Give it a chance to break in, get a bit more comfortable. Hopefully, it should be a nice, comfortable saddle for doing long rides on. Fit it on the bike today and take it out for a ride, see how it goes. Hopefully, it'll be nice and comfortable. It's not not the sort of it's quite quite heavy but it's not the sort of saddle you'd want to fit on a carbon fiber modern bike is it really It'd be too much weight for you well if you're not bothered about weight and you want comfort long distance riding comforts this would be good for a cyclocross bike because the extra pounding you get Riding on rough roads, that's that's where an uncomfortable saddle gets really uncomfortable. So that that's the bike I'm going to try it on. Hopefully it'll give me more comfort on there when riding on rougher roads. It's the only the only British manufacturer of saddles that is still there, uh, still going. All the other all the other firms have gone gone to the wall. So. Must be a good saddle if it's still being made. All that's left to do now is to fit it on the bike. Go out riding it. Let's hope it does the job. Keeps keeps um, 
it's nice and comfortable on long rides, particularly on rough roads. Hopefully I'll do, uh, do another review once I've, once I've uh, been riding it for a while and let you know how I get on. That's it for now, thanks for watching. See you next time.